when wagons turn, the wheels are eventually going to hit the side of the box. When these were original and had steel tires, there was a steel plate. But now these rubber tires need a roller. And these were the two styles that I chose from to put on this wagon. I first tried the straight roller and it didn't work as well as I liked. So I tried the angled roller and it seemed to work much better. So that's what I put on this wagon. The owner of this wagon requested that I put two seats in this wagon. He did not want the seats elevated up on the sideboards, which is common to most wagons, but he asked that this would be low enough to where his feet could sit flat on the floorboard. Since the sideboards were dug fur, I also chose dug fur for the seats. Now before I could attach the seats in their permanent position, I needed the sideboards to be positioned correctly. This wagon only had two end rods, so I had to make two. So I made two more to try to match the original two, using old 3 8 iron.
Now it is very common for old wagons to have different size threads and different pitches. So oftentimes a new thread or SAE thread will not fit an old wagon. I have an old Greenfield tap and die set that is adjustable. So I'm going to adjust this die to fit the old style. I'll insert an original end rod and adjust the dies to fit it. Then I can cut threads on the new end rods and they should match the originals. Now I can go ahead and finish the seats. The request was made that these seats have backs that fold down so they could be easily crawled over. These will eventually get upholstered. Once again, thanks for watching.